Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Michael Chalmers, and in this short presentation, I will be discussing how I would implement Frederick McCubin's artwork down on his luck. The first point of discussion I believe is important to bring forward is the many themes that would be exceptionally useful within a classroom, especially a class based in Australia. Using a year five classroom as a basis, down on his luck opens up many possibilities for students to explore ideas and techniques that they can use they can use and make use of in their own artworks and projects. Frederick McCubin, in this case, makes use of the rule of thirds to start uh, to place an importance on certain aspects of the picture. In a similar way, he also used similarity uh, in which he placed colors to not only draw in the viewer, but to also create cohesion and ease of viewing for a first onlooker. Making use of this image does not necessarily need to be used to help improve only a student's artistic abilities, but it can also be implemented into lessons as a catalyst for learning in various other subjects. In English, for example, making use of this artistic piece in a class could be utilised in the form of an essay, a debate, or a report. Furthermore, using this artwork for the subject provides students with a plethora of themes and evidence that will allow said students to maximise their capabilities in their writing. I can make use of this piece of artwork in my own art, uh, in my own classroom, by possibly using it as a stimulus or a catalyst to promote student creativity in varying subjects. Art especially can be focused when discussing this piece. I would start by illustrating painting techniques that Miss Cuban used that the students could possibly recreate in their own projects then move on to discussing the actual themes and the different things that were influencing social and cultural understandings of the time in which a painting could be created. And in this case, during the 19th century. Furthermore, this piece can influence the students in lessons involving substrands of the curriculum like the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander history and Australian culture as a whole. The Australian curriculum makes specific mention of this idea Using art as a focus uh, for the Australian culture in the F10 curriculum, they mentioned the idea that students would be able to explore ideas and practices used by artists, including practices of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander artists, to represent different views, beliefs, and opinions. That was taken from the F10 curriculum side, basing on Year 5 in their art strand. As the curriculum mentions above, um, this particular use of art can not only be used to help students improve their artistic abilities, but it can also be used to inspire students to make use of art as a way of sharing beliefs, views and even opinions. As an English catalyst, however, this artwork could be used as a comparison piece, for example, maybe in a debate a creating, uh, for creative writing purposes or even imaginative pieces. Another option that I would personally implement into my own classroom if I was to use this in real life could be through uh, students explaining what elements of the painting express different ideas of social, historical and cultural contexts. The curriculum also makes mentions of this uh, by using a uh, of using this technique, where it is stated that students would be able to explain how visual art conventions communicate meaning by comparing artworks from different social, cultural and historical contexts including Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander artworks. This is a great way of illustrating to students how different colours, themes, and even painting techniques can represent or help to show different cultural social viewpoints. This will be, become increasingly important later on in a student's life, say for instance when they go into high school and they may use art as an actual subject for university pathways. Therefore, giving these students early exposure is really, really critical. The final way I can make use of this painting is simply by hanging it in the classroom, rather on a wall or perhaps on a fishing line above the class. It's a relaxing tone that can give a positive distraction for special needs students, for example, or even students who are perhaps looking for an inspiration in their drawing activity or writing activity. In conjunction with other Australian arts that I could hang up in the classroom, it can be, it can be quite effective. In this way, the use of this artwork in varying subjects like English and art, as well as using it as a general looking piece inside the classroom, can serve as not only as a great stimulus, but, as, but it can also be used as an effective analysing and storytelling piece for younger and older students.
To conclude, this artwork is a great way for students to be exposed to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander substrands, while providing a great stimulus for varying subjects in its artistic approach, rather in the message of social or cultural discussion, or with the artistic techniques themselves. Thank you very much.